you know, might not know what to put together, but this workshop is going to just re to review the basics. Uh, so you, whether you know a lot or a little, we're going to share some tips. And again, this group is small enough um, that we can, you know, you can interrupt me if need be, if you have a question about what I'm saying, no problem at all. Let's dive right in. Um, and before I, before we dive, before we dive in, note that I have a special door prize for the first person who can answer this question. So throughout this presentation, I'm sure you all are multi multitaskers. So let me know the number of outfits you can create with five suits and six shirts. Just think about it. And then when I get to the slide, I'll ask you to enter it in and Alex is gonna catch that person who gets close to the number or gets it right. It's, and the door prize is worth it. Okay, so as you are affiliated with the Career Center, so you are well aware of all the competencies that we promote here. And today, of course, your professional image goes directly hand in hand with brand. Um, it's so important. So whether you're in person or online, your brand and how you present yourself is very important. First impressions count, right? That's huge. Um, the dress for success, um, Mato, you hear that all the time, but it's more than just a saying. Um, a potential employer, an interview committee, they all make a first impression about you based on what you wear. Even your handshake. In the past, I've given uh, handshake workshops. It was like a little exercise in our workshop because some people have a weak handshake. So great that you have on this nice power suit, but your handshake is kind of limp or crutched in. Mm, it can give first impressions. First impressions are everything. Um, it can really give you that competitive edge. It can make you just stand out amongst your peers, the interview pool on your team. Um, and this is the question here. So conventional wisdom tells us that dress for the job you want. You hear that all the time. Not the job you have, but what if you don't have a job at all? What if you don't ha haven't ha landed that internship yet? So when starting a new job or going to the career fair, a networking event, don't be overwhelmed with trying to figure out what to wear. That's what we're gonna review. But sometimes if you have applied for a job, they may not give you a time to prepare. They might call you on a Wednesday night at 7.30 asking to interview you the next day at 10. So you're gonna to have to be prepared and you should start doing that now. So don't be stressed out. Remember the three Bs, that's our folks today. Business traditional, business formal, and business casual. Um, these dress codes enhance the professional image of your workplace environment and your own professional brand. So all your shirts should be neat, crisp, pressed, and never wrinkled. If you're going for that professional look, you want to always look fresh as if you just ironed your clothes or just that came straight out of the store or the dry cleaners. Um, confidence and clothing, I believe, I personally believe, have a direct correlation. Um, just think about it. When you dress nice, you feel better. You know, looking good leads to feeling good. And you can wear that with pride every day when you, when you step foot into the workplace. So let's break these three things down. Okay, business traditional. Take a look at these colors and what they have on. These are items that you would expect to see in the office, right? Um, every, every day in the office and nothing special is going on. That might just have, that's just how they dress. Um, you might have a sports coat or not. The ladies' uh, patterns of shirts and blouses and skirts may vary. The heel length may vary with business traditional. Okay. Okay, professional patterns. Oh, yeah, and for us, here in the Career Center, you might see us wearing our university colors. So there isn't a strict guideline to say, oh, you need to wear all gray or, you know, all navy blue. You can actually wear orange or purple. Okay, business formal. This is the attire that you might see in a law office, right? This appearance here is very strict. However, it can be worn on the interview as well. Um, the suits are more, more than likely tailored. They're the dark basic colors. Remember the, the one we just saw, they had some light, some light colors. You can play with pattern play, 
but this is strictly business. This is your strictly business suit. The tie is a must. Uh, oftentimes at the career fair, um, some of the men will come up to me and ask me, should I put on a tie for this? Yes. This is this is when you want to look your best. So a tie, wearing a tie for the guys is not optional. No casual pattern. So you won't see, you know, any of the flowers or any polka dots or anything like that. These are all the sheer basic colors and dark colors at that. The third one, and I talk fast. So if I'm talking too fast for you guys, please let, let me know. I'm not gonna lecture you all day, I promise. Okay, the business casual, again, this is another uh, way that you probably see me, my peers and I dressing here in the career center. This is a very relaxed style, still professional, but very relaxed. Uh, more colors are introduced, um, textures and styles. In the fall, you might even see boots and tights and loafers. So it just, you know, just depends on, you know, your office environment. But this is a look that still carries that professionalism, but it's relaxed. Okay, so let's break this down into detail. And, and these looks that you're seeing here, they can be purchased at Macy's and Target. I have some resources for you that I can send out at the end. But the women's skirts should never be above the knee. You should always have on a nice low heel and a nicely polished shoe. Your makeup is minimal and there should be no body piercing. So we don't wanna see your belly button uh, earring and we don't wanna see your tattoos. Fine if you have them, but in a professional setting, try your best to cover those up and just remember that less is more. Gender fluid. This is another uh, style of dress that you're seeing today. In essence, the gender fluid outfit just disregards between the association between a man and a woman. So a woman can wear the bow tie, you know, or a, a woman can wear a suit. I have some more pictures here. Sharp, sharp, crisp looks too. Um, nowadays, you know, back in the day, this, it will probably be unconventional for a woman to have on a, a tie or a, a, a business jacket. But these are like unisex clothing, you know, and, and now companies are more than ever are embracing diversity and inclusion, right? So all of these are tied. This is, this is welcomed. You might even see um, folks at the Career Center dressed like this. You know, and I, I love Ellen's style. Um, I love her clothing. I think she dresses really nice. Um, I wouldn't mind having a few of her blazers myself, but that's what that is. So, okay, so now, Alex, I'm about to dive into this next slide. So I want you to get the answers for the, the person who gets that question. Remember the question is, how many suits or outfits, well, how many outfits can you create with five suits and six shirts? Okay, so Steve Harvey, all those silly and funny as he is, he's a fashion guru. He has an authority on fashion. Um, he's a fashion expert. So let's take a look at what, he's in, what he says here. Now, most times in this, um, in this particular situation, he's actually talking to the guys. But think about it, ladies. This applies to us too. And excuse the uh, Dove commercial. Try Alex, Dove Dry Spray. That? Our weightless formula with one quarter moisturizers leaves underarms feeling instantly dry, softer, and smoother. And you, more confident and carefree. Effective protection, time to skin. Okay. Here we go. No, this is not where you start. Uh, here's a suggestion. Um, they got nice places you can go. Coles sell separates. Uh, Macy's. Uh, Ben's Warehouse is a little bit expensive. Suit supply. Uh, the first suit you should buy is a black suit. Black suits can go to everything. Every man has to own a black suit. After you get a black suit, there's five suits you need to get. Black, navy, gray, brown, tan. You get those five suits. You get yourself two white shirts. Get yourself two cream color shirts and two powder blue shirts. You can make 75 suits with those combinations because every last one of those pants go with every last one of those jackets. Every last one of the jackets goes with every last one of the pants. You cannot mess up. 
the beige pants will go with the gray jacket. The gray jacket goes with the brown pants. The black pants go with everything. Get you three basic color shirts, blue, cream, and white. And then just get yourself some Steve Harvey ties and start living your best life. That's what you do. This over here, this is a whole, don't even do this. I'm explaining this to nobody at your house what you bought that one for. My, my partner, first suit he bought, and I begged him not to, he bought a lavender pinstripe suit. Do you know every time he put that suit on, we knew he had on the lavender pinstripe suit? Because I told him, just get a black suit. Man, I don't want no dry, boring-ass black suit that you can go to church in it, you go to funeral in it, you can go to wedding in it, you can go to anniversary in it, you can go to job interview in it. You're not getting a job in a lavender pinstripe suit. <laughs> So that's so Alex, do we have any winners? I can't see the okay. Sarah Wilson was the closest. Okay. Congratulations, Sarah. Okay, so let's dive right in. So remember Steve's tips. And that's what I was saying, ladies. You can also apply what he said to your wardrobe as well. Get the basics and then just mix and match. Add a blouse with some color, you know, add a different powder blue shirt a different heel, and you'll have a different outfit. I mean, I always said, who knew that creativity would trump mathematics? The more creative you are with your wardrobe, you can create plenty of outfits. So you don't have to have this large wardrobe to get a different look every day. Just learn how to mix and match and style your clothing. And if you need help with that, we certainly can help you in the career center with that. That's not a problem at all. Let's see here. Okay, so build your professional wardrobe. Um, clothing can be expensive. We are aware, to, we're aware of that, but you don't have to spend all your money at one time. Um, you can go get a good suit during the holiday. Sometimes they have special sales going on. Um, you can go to an outlet. They have definitely discounted prices. And again, some of you probably already know this. And you also can go to th the thrift stores around here. But being that you are a Clemson student, you're at a special advantage because we have a career closet right here on campus and we also host the JCPenney event. So, you know, you don't have to get overwhelmed with this process and we pretty much have the basic needs of every student in the closet. So let me tell you about that. Okay, so this fall, Sunday, September 18th from 5 to 9 p.m., we're going to host a JCPenney suit-up event. And what this is is the store will close it to the public and just leave it open to Clemson students. They offer, they offer let's see, up to 60% off. So you'll get a coupon that will allow you to buy as many things as you want to with that coupon. And then our executive director, Dr. Neil Burton here in the Career Center, he's been so gracious and kind that he will give every student a $25 gift card. So it's not surprising to see students walking away with four boxes of shoes, you know, you know, three shirts and, you know, two suits because the deals are awesome. So I would encourage you to come. Um, and even if you don't have an interview coming up right now, still, again, start building your wardrobe now, um, especially when you have a, a, good, a good deal like this you can't resist. And then the next option for you, because you're a Clemson student, is the clothes closet. We have... Um, just about everything in there for every size. But if you can't find your size in the clothes closet, all you have to do is email me, uh, let us know, and we'll do uh, our best to find other options for you. Uh, and sometimes that is uh, getting a gift card for you to go and get a blazer from somewhere if you can't find what you need. And the clothes closet is very handy because, again, you might get that phone call, you know, on a Wednesday afternoon for an interview on Thursday or Friday. You may not have time to go shopping. So just swing over to the clothes closet, you know, and we can even do a special appointment for you for you to get your wardrobe set up for that particular interview. It says two items per semester, um, but what if you have a, another interview? We had one student uh, a few semesters ago, he had three interviews with the same company and he didn't want to wear the same thing over and over again. So of course we let him come out and pick a different shirt, different coat, different tie. That's understandable. We have plenty of clothes um, and we even have an inventory room. So if you don't even see what you like in the closet, we'll let you go in our inventory room and pull something from there. Um, 
so you have so you have no excuse not to get started on your um, building a professional wardrobe and polishing up what you already have and you might even already have some of this stuff so you might just want to add an accent again like a you know a colored blazer or you know a different um accessory or something like that we can help you with the, the career clothes closet and just the event so that's two bonuses for Clemson students. So now in closing, um, and that's a picture there of the clothes closet up there on the, the top left there. Uh, we have all the basics that you need. Um, again, you can mix and match. Come to the JCPenney suit up event, come visit the clothes closet. Um, if you're not sure about something, just ask us. So the guys can always remember to wear, um, you start with your basic pantsuit, you add a tie, gradually add different color ties to your wardrobe. And your ladies, you can simply start with your basic suits, but then gradually add different blouses and just go from there. Either way, you're going to look your best. And that's what, we, that's what we're aiming for. You want to make that um, first good impression. Okay, so that's it. That's my little snippet. So what questions do you have? Let's have a quick discussion. Let me see if I can get out of here. Okay. Are y'all there? Can you hear me? Yes, we can see you. Okay. And I just asked the, in the chat if anybody has any questions and doesn't wanna unmute. Okay. Well, y'all are welcome to unmute and ask, or you can type them into the chat. Um, do they need to register for the JCPenney event? No. Just show up, just come to the table, just bring your, um, your student ID, or if you have your Apple Watch or phone, we'll just scan you in and then you can go start shopping. This is what, third, fourth year that, that y'all have done that? This will be the sixth year, the sixth wow, year. Mm -hmm. that's crazy. It's very successful. I mean, you, these, are, these are deals you can't turn down, yeah. Hey, this has been great. Um, some of my students that they've brought up the uh, topic of the fact that they're maybe interviewing for a more creative company or a creative mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. um, and I just wanted to get your opinion on um, how much should they try to kind of mirror the image of those people that they may be interviewing with versus how much should they just stay with sort of that classic look? Um. That's a that's a good question. Uh, at this past career fair we had, I saw turquoise hair and pink hair, and that was okay. Apparently, they were marketing students. The company was all for it. Um, so I guess it it really it really depends if you're confident and you have the, the qualification and you present well. That's fine because obviously the company is looking at them. So apparently they like them. Um, the culture is somewhat changing. Although the, the two students had the turquoise and pink hair, they still were they were they were still suited. They had on a suit, but their their hair, you know, is a little bit um, different. But that was okay. Maybe starting with some of the basics and then being yeah. creative in other areas. <laughs> right. Um, one of my students, one of my students over in mathematics, said that um, I don't want to wear a suit. You know, he said none of my none of my professors wear a suit. They wear the jean shirt and jeans every day. I was like, well, let's get the job first, and then you can dress like them. So again, going back to that first impression, do the part first and then you can become relaxed. That's a good question. Thank you for asking that. Someone asked, do you have any suggestions for a hospital setting where you still need to wear closed toed shoes? Yeah, uh, loafers. Now in the hospital setting, are you like in the hospital administrator? Is that what you're asking? Yes, and I just struggle sometimes with like, um, I guess some of my clothes will look weird with the closed toe shoes that I have because I've had jobs before where we're required to wear like white sneakers or something and then it limits like what I can wear a lot because it'll just look very off and mismatched. So I just struggle a lot with that and I have an internship at a hospital next semester. So I'm gonna have to really figure that out. Yeah, and invest in some cute flats. All right, we'll do. Because I, I need to be comfortable too, so that's probably best. Absolutely. The teaks are really cute. They're expensive, but they're cute. And they come in all different colors and styles and shades. 
Any other questions? I've told you guys, I don't talk very, I talk fast and I, I don't like to hold, hold you long, um, but I wanna make sure you get those valuable pieces of information. Um, and some of you might have known about the JCPenney event or the closed closet. So the resources are here um, if you're ever in a bond or you just wanna you know, add a few pieces to what you already have. It's all free. <laughs> I dropped that information into the chat about the JC um, Penny event, and I will drop a link to the closed closet um, information off our website yeah. as well. So y'all have it. Um, and there's a question, but I can answer this one. Um, there will be a recording of this on our YouTube channel. Um, so if y'all have questions or want to come back and look at Karen's excellent presentation, y'all can do that as well. And, okay, and who was the winner, Sarah? Sarah, and I have her email for you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yes, I need that to <laughs> get her card. Absolutely. You're getting a whole bunch of thank yous in the chat. Well, all right. thank you guys. Y'all have been really, please come see me if you need to consult with me about something or feel free to email me. Could you add my email down there to Alex? They can get in touch with me. Yes, I can do that right now. And we will be closed for the next two weeks. Do they, do they know that, Alex? You... That's a good question. We're open for appointments. They're just all virtual um, okay. while we're getting our carpets redone in our center. But I just dropped Karen's email. I will drop my email. Um, and then... I can send y'all a follow up with that link to the recording and things like that as well. Thank you, Alex. Absolutely. Everybody else, last chance. Y'all have been excellent. Thank you for joining us this morning. And Karen, I always love to listen to you talk about professional dress. I feel like I always learn something when you do. Well, you look not your wardrobe is just fine Alex well thank you Karen <laughs> lovely 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 so kind <laughs> all right all right well thanks everybody um, thank you so much Karen you're welcome see you soon